This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. It is the Indie Mayhem Show. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the uh, Sorgatron Media Studios in Beachview, PA. And this is the show where we talk with people in and around indie wrestling and around the world a little bit this week. We'll get that, to that in just a moment, but you can check out the show at WrestlingMayhemShow.com and IndieWrestling.us for this and past episodes and other wrestling content of great importance. Um, also, you can please subscribe to the Indie Mayhem Show on iTunes, Sister Spreaker, iHeartRadio, as well as the uh, video versions on the Facebook and YouTube page for Wrestling Mayhem Show. And of course, drop us a line at uh, Indie Mayhem at SorgatronMedia.com or 412 206 WMS0. If you have any recommendations on people uh, to chat with, like we've had a few in the last couple of weeks of episodes, uh, or any questions or people coming up that we've announced, and check out the uh, event pages on the Facebooks for the Indie Wrestling.us and Wrestling Mayhem Show to see who may be coming up as we uh, kind of schedule these guys all over the place. Well, this week, uh, first of all, I want to introduce our our guest um, interviewer in the Riz is joining us here uh, live Hi. from uh, M- Monroeville, PA, all the way across yes. the town. <laughs> Good 2025 20, minutes. Just wave you, sir. You yes, yes. It. Just wave as we're going by. There you go. Uh, but our guest of honor this this week, uh, back on the show, we've had him on before, a long, long time friend of the Wrestling Mayhem show. Uh, in back from India, world traveler extraordinaire. He is the Neon Ninja facade. Yo, uh, man, glad to be back home. I, and you guys are on a Pokestop, which is phenomenal. Yes, we are. I caught a I, lot of new Pokemon just on the way here. Went and got my hair did. Um, <laughs> leave for the UK tomorrow morning. And I got my hair did. And on the way, you know, I've been out six months. So lots of happenings on the Pokemon Go tip. And uh, I'm a very avid player. I'm trying to transition into maybe... Uh, you know, uh, Pokemon Go YouTuber. I watched a lot of that while I was over there because I had no cable and no <laughs> anything. <laughs> so, uh, you know, there's money in YouTube these days. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. There you go. That could be the other <laughs> the other kind of next phase I need, of your... I need monetary streams, man. There you go. There and, you go. And uh, I hear... Diversify your portfolio, yeah, right? Yeah. You know, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm trying to diversify my brand. And, you know, I hear wrestling on the YouTube scene has gotten knocked down a peg. People don't really get the money. No, that they're they they're used all to. going to Twitch. Yeah, <laughs> Twitch, yeah. man. So all Twitch. my tip jar is full in uh, the karma <laughs> section. So I will just uh, keep it keep it moving in a different direction. Well, anyway, so so you we mentioned you you've been you know <laughs> kind of in and out of India. You've, you've been a few other places even in the last uh, uh, six months. Uh, uh, tell us what the hell were you doing in India, man? Uh, so in the beginning of the summer, I was uh, contact. Well, I met Kali sometime last year and i asked him to watch like a lot of people didn't talk to him because they're just like great Kali, you know and uh it was a pretty big show i asked him to watch my match he was uh he was I, I, maybe impressed um uh, about <laughs> me and danny our whole thing that we like to do and then um over the summer we were on our way to see the guardians of the galaxy 2 and i got the <laughs> Actually, I got the craziest phone call ever because it was a lot of numbers. Like, yeah. I, I gave him one of my <laughs> business cards, and it was like a lot of numbers, way too many numbers that I've ever seen. I'm like, yo, I don't know what this phone number is, but I'm going to answer it. And then I hear a lot of crazy talking and blah, 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 uh, blah, 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 ninja, blah, blah, blah. I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 the, I'm the ninja, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Like, I, I don't understand anything. And it's not even like he can't talk correctly. It's just I don't understand because mm-hmm. it's bad service, too. Yeah. And then he says something, something, Kali. And I'm like, Kali, yeah, Kali, this is the ninja. Yeah, this is me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, hey, download what's it was essentially translation equals uh, download WhatsApp. Uh, I'll talk to you on there. I, I, this call is costing me like 83 cents a minute. I'm like, whatever, dude. Oh. Uh, I download it. Um, we ended up missing the showing in Guardians of the Galaxy. I sat in the, uh, you know, um, the theater waiting for him to call. He called on WhatsApp very clear this time. 
um, you know, <laughs> crazy Kali voice. But uh, so he's like, I want you to come to my academy. You're going to have to stay six months. I'm going to pay you this much. Uh, we're going to do this, this and this. I want you to teach my students high flying um, stuff. I, you know, I really like your high flying abilities, all these other things. I'm like, sure, man. Uh, that sounds great. And it's you know, a once in a lifetime opportunity. How many times do people get offered to go to India, let alone stay for six months? But, you know, I was like, man, this is going to be great. I, I, I was very quick to agree, which, you know, uh, <laughs> um, but I was excited, you know, I, I just want to experience stuff and I want to just live a crazy life. And this is definitely a chapter and, and one's crazy life. But so, you know, uh, we set everything into motion. I'm like, so this is my bookings throughout the end of the summer. I can go in August. He's like, okay, uh, let's do that. We'll, we'll um, work everything out. And then, um, like, uh, Jinder was actually, like, my liaison. He was, like, my contact guy. And <laughs> like Jinder, I, Jinder Mahal, <laughs> the, I believe at the time, WWE <laughs> champion Jinder Mahal, right? The day before. No way. The day before. It was Saturday, and he, um, I had met him on independent shows, and then had seen him, you know, in uh, um, other avenues. And so, he messages me like right after because Kali's English is not as, you know, yeah. He's like, I will have uh, Kali basically said, I will have Gender talk to you. He calls him Gender Man. He said, I will have Gender Man talk to you and uh, work out, iron out the uh, the specifics. Um, and blah 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 so then while we're in there uh, watching the movie i'm getting texts from gender saying blah 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 he's like oh facade okay now i know what we're dealing is somebody that because he remembered me and he remembered danny so that was a cool thing so we worked everything out um i'm like man do i need shots do i need to take pills and all kinds of crazy <laughs> things because you guys went to thailand you know how it is like oh yeah i know how it things is. get a little wild man yeah. so uh um, he's like, no one else did it. And, you know, I, uh, I'm, <laughs> I was a little hesitant, but I just, you know, went along with it because looking into the prices of some of those shots and everything, man, not cheap. But, but, and insurance doesn't did, really cover those. Cause those are, what did you need? Because Rite Aid hooked me up with everything. Oh man. I, well, when I looked it up from the CDC, it said like, Oh no, don't go to the CDC. Just oh, go down to Rite Aid. Oh, yeah. Well, it's like, that was basically the tip I go, got. CDC is basically going to WebMD saying you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're, you go here, you're going to die. And I'm like, oh. Yeah, it got scary when you started reading it. And Damn. especially, like, I know we were, like, in a river uh, pretty much downstream from elephant poop. So, like, yeah, I was a little worried for a while there. I was like, yeah, I'm not going swimming in that. Yeah. Yeah. So And so I was like, <clears throat> I'm like, man. Okay, I'm just not getting the shots because I'm gonna have to do it in a battery of uh, multiple times, mm -hmm. and I'm not interested in doing that, and I'm not interested in paying like all this money to do that. Um, and especially, Jinder said it was cool, so I'm like, mm, whatever. Um, <laughs> but, well, if Jinder says it's cool, I mean, then it must be cool. You know, don't hinder Jinder. No, <laughs> and he's not gonna hinder me. So you know, it's give and take. But I mean, like all the other guys, there's some other guys. Um, one of the first coaches was. Uh, Ricardo Rodriguez. Then you have uh, Daryl Sharma, who's now a WWE NXT referee. Uh, another guy from Canada. And then uh, Ethan HD, who's uh, another guy making a lot of noise over from uh, Seattle area. And uh, that's, um, you know, for, for the most part, the rundown of the guys. But none of them had any issues. None of them had any of the, the things to worry about. So I'm like, eh, I, you know, I hit them up and everything was cool. So I'm like, all right. Let's do this. Um, we got everything together. Got the visa. Got you know all the the flight plans. And August, I was out. Um, and uh, I think I saw you one of the last shows that we did. Um, it was at, at the big time show. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's down, right. Down there at the Washington Washington Wild Thing Stadium, because that was funny too. Like that was one of the reasons why I asked Kali just to wait an extra week because he wanted me there one week. But uh, I did. Um, a little extra thing working merchandise for TNA whenever they were there a couple years ago. I'm like, man, one day I want to wrestle at this, at this venue, at this, this park. And then it, it's one of those like, um, you know, triple a ballparks or something. Yeah. Wild things down in Washington PA. Yeah. And I think the night like sting was there and everything. Right. Yeah. So, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the night of the TNA. Yeah. Sting, sting was there. Mm -hmm. Um, 
so we were, yeah, we were selling a lot of, uh, Louisville sluggers and stuff. <laughs> and, um, you know, that was still like, um, a lot of guys, uh, aces and ace were r- running hot around that time. And I'm like, yeah, I, oh, man, I really want to, I would, I would love to actually get to work this, uh, wrestle at this venue at some point. And, you know, it full circle, it happened. I'm, I'm okay. I got this opportunity. I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to bounce out to India. So this is going to be my, uh, do all these, these, uh, um, these dates. And then I'm going to bounce out to India the next day. And, uh, that's going to be that. So that's what happened. Um, went out there. So, uh, it, it, it was really crazy cause I didn't know what to expect, you know, in terms of really anything, uh, whether I was just thinking, you know, weather is going to be hot the whole time. It's India. It's like right on the equator, right below the equator. So, uh, and there she goes. That's the last, the, the uh, last date, the big old facade squad mounted up at the uh, Wild Thing Stadium with me and baby D, Danny Mo. But um, it's it, when I first got there, it was hot. I mean, like hot as hell because there was still the summer. They have two seasons there. They have summer and they have monsoon season, which is their – well, I mean, they have, they have summer and winter, really. Um, but there's also like an overlaying monsoon season. Mm-hmm. I only seen it rain four times while I was there in the six months. But um, the first month, month and a half, it was really hot. You know, it was nice. I was cutting weight, uh, sweating a lot. And, you know, um, it was actually you had to change clothes multiple times a day because it was so <laughs> bad. Now, Ethan HD, who had been there like, you know, a month before and over the, they were there and it was over a hundred degrees every day, just dying, just completely dying. And, uh, when I got there, it was kind of fading away. I'm like, man, this is hot, but like, you know, it wasn't end of the world. So, uh, yeah, that right there, that's when I landed. They, uh, greeted me Suki, the top guy there. He is seven foot two. He is oh, geez. one of the tallest, uh, wrestlers from India. Uh, there's another giant there, Shanky Singh, who's very uh, famous on the internet for some of his internet videos that are produced through the uh, CW Academy. But um, pretty soon after, uh, the weather started changing, and it's much like how we have fall here. Uh, you know, if anyone's gone camping in like the any of the temperate climates or, you know, here in the Pittsburgh area, northeast area, you know, it gets really, really cold and foggy at night and people like to have bonfires kind of things. Well, we didn't have any kind of bonfires. We didn't have heat. We just kind of dealt with it. It was really cold and foggy at night. And then um, in the daytime, it was kind of warm. Uh, it faded away into December and then, you know, started rebounding back after, uh, you know, what the solstice and all the, the, everything, as I was leaving out here in February, it started getting warm again, like 69 during the day, but man, it was so cold at night, like cold. I was wearing, I was, uh, wearing multiple layers, like under armor shirt or shirts and, uh, pants and stuff. And I was sleeping with two covers, uh, I tried to have a, a heater at one time. They're like, coach, you don't need that. Come on. You don't need that. I'm like, guys, yeah, I, I come from a cold temperature, uh, temperate climate. It snows where I live, but this is ridiculous. It's cold, but we don't have a payoff. Where's the snow? You know what I mean? Like, so, I mean, it wasn't end of the world bad, but you never really got that kind of, uh, you never really got your core warmed back up because, you know, the, we really didn't have hot water. We didn't have any kind of heat. So it's like, you know, it's it, all together was really wearing, wearing on your body in different, different ways. Nice. So, so what was it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, Riz, do you have any questions about uh, the Kali school there? Um, first, you, um, yes. First of all, <laughs> um, yes. I want to get to that. Cause this is, this is what we wanted Riz here for. I, I, I'm really interested in, to know what this like this is going to be a more of a training question instead of a colleague question um but what is it like to know that a that a former wb superstar wants you to travel all the way across the country to train not all the way across the globe to train other wrestlers 
Like that, that to me sounds very, very, uh, like a, a, a very awesome experience. Man. And like, like even, even though he's, he's, I, I'm, I faux like him. I, I say, I, I am a huge fan of Kali, but having him be the world, having him be a former champion and having him ask you to come to India for him. That's, how did that make you feel? And it really, it was, it was something because at the time when I met him, I like, I had a, a certain level of respect for him, you know, everything that he had done. Um, and I thought, you know, given a guy, his size, like the things that he could do was great. And, you know, he, he had a lot of talent, but then getting to know him, you know, throughout our conversations, once, once like, uh, he, he reached out to me and we really started getting the ball rolling. He was calling me like every day. He would call me every day or we'd video chat every day, make sure everything was cool, make sure that it was going to happen. Mm -hmm. Cause I don't know if he like his faith had waned or, you know, if there was any kind of doubt that he had that, you know, this was going to happen, but he, he was, he was constantly in contact with me and, uh, in a positive way. But I really, it was, to say surreal, it really was even beyond that because, like, I, I kept a, a, a real, because in wrestling, you know, you don't really ever believe anything until it happens, mm -hmm. you know. And when I have the ticket in my hand, then I know it's real. Yeah. But, you know, there were so many steps. I had to get a visa. I had to get my ticket. There's There was all kinds of things. But with... With this, I was telling people like what I was gonna do, and they're like, "What? This? <laughs> what? It doesn't sound real." I, just, I remember you first telling me. That. I was like, yeah. "Wait, you're going to Kali's school to train people?" Yeah, yeah. It's 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 like like that collection of words. It's what, <laughs> 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 and to think like I'm I'm laughing now, you know what I mean? Because like it's it's something that uh, I never would have thought I would have done. And now having done it, like I'm, you know, so yeah. Uh, I mean, when I met him, see, I, I got into a lot of things. A lot of people, you ever hear of the secret, the book, um, Ryback's, book, yeah. Ryback's really big into it. Yeah. There's a lot of guys that are really big into it. I got into it a couple years ago. Uh, talking to Luke Gallows and listening to the one I think it was Colt Cabana or one podcast that uh, was talking about Ryback um, being really big into it, and uh, you know I, I really started following a lot of that, uh, and even in seeing Ryback, I had talked to him about it and I I had thanked him for you know mentioning it because that's a lot of you know showing gratitude uh, magnifies you know, things that come back to you. That's one of the things in the, in the book. But I thought to him, I gave him, my, uh, he watched the match. He liked me. He liked Danny. And he was really just impressed. And I gave him one of my cards and I, and I didn't really think too much into it, but I'm like, you know, it'd be really cool. I thought to myself, it'd be really cool if one day I went to India and worked for Kali. And then like, <laughs> you know, four months later it happened, you know, you put that thought into the universe and then you never know if, if, if it really is going to come back to you. Mm -hmm. And it did. And I was, <laughs> and I told me and Danny were driving separate cars to go see the guardians that day. And I told her, I'm like, yo, I just got a call from Kali. And she's like, what? And, and like, <laughs> so, but to, to answer your question, the, 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 the fact that he reached out to me, and asked me to try to teach, you know, uh, his students just from watching one match and then watching some more stuff on YouTube was such an honor because like, you know, he'd watch, like he watched the one match and he was very impressed. And then he told me, you know, I've watched your stuff on YouTube, uh, your matches, uh, some of the matches you match with AJ Styles, all these other matches. You're one of the best high flyers in the world. You're, you're amazing. I want you to teach my students your talents. And I'm like, man, that is such an honor. I, I, I can't even tell you how appreciative I am of, of you asking me to do this. And, um, you know, wrestling has been such something that uh, has given me 
a lot of things, giving me opportunities to to see the world, wrestling Malaysia, Mexico, Russia, uh, Japan, going to United Kingdom tomorrow, you know, all these places, and then going to India. Like now, it's my turn. I can give something back to teach these students and to have someone on such like a, a respected plane, someone is so respected as Kali, not only within our circle of wrestling, but, you know, by WWE standards, mm -hmm. that's a really big deal. I felt, you know, I felt empowered, you know, I felt special. And so, uh, I was, I was all about it. Anything to do it. I jumped at the opportunity. So, uh, and going there, it, it required a lot of things, a lot of sacrifices, but, um, I come to think of it's not really so much of a sacrifice because, again, like I, I, uh, referring to the secret, when you sacrifice something, you're just giving it up and it, you know it perishes within itself. But when you give something, you get something. And when you give, you get back multiplied so much more than what you have given. So I, I, I was giving myself. I was giving my time, I was giving my body, I was giving back to wrestling by going over there. And I didn't really even think of it as that. I just thought, you know, I'm going to help these students. I'm going to help these kids. And, you know, that was that was just enough for me. And But I, the what, what I got in return was something I had never, never really ever anticipated. You know, I thought I would go and get, you know, this kind of, uh, you know, spiritual growth and personal <laughs> growth. But it really was more than uh you know people say that kind of thing but it was really a lot of that and i just i didn't think it was going to be as intense as it was because you know mentally physically spiritually it, it broke me down it did six months away from your family away from everything and everyone you love it and just it strips you down to the core mm -hmm. and um you know it, it was it was one of those crazy crazy things that you know, you have to just live through it to, to make it through. And, um, you know, the students were really one of the things that helped me through that. We had uh, roughly about 140, 150 uh, students altogether, 130 of which lived on site because, <laughs> we, dude, we had a huge... Uh, can I reference it as uh, it basically a compound like uh, mm -hmm. for lack of a better term uh, we had like if we had uh, six let's let's say these are plots like farm plots um, one two three one two three four five six Kali owned all six of these plots okay we were number five we were surrounded by for at first it was <clears throat> soybeans and then afterwards, it was potatoes. So we were five, and we, you know what I mean, uh, in a grid. Yeah. Um, so what we we were. See, not everybody knows this area. We were uh, the, the majorest, the major city, the capital. I think it's the capital, New Delhi. Mm -hmm. We're seven to eight hours bus ride from that. Oh. And that's just to get to the, the nearest like small town, which is like a suburb of Pittsburgh. Yeah. And then from there, we are at a uh, another one, uh, <clears throat> maybe like 20 minutes away into the into the rural area. For instance, maybe for those of you that have been in court time around that, you know, because if that was equivalent to Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh was Jallander. We're in. uh Ramamandi, in between Ramamandi and Jandu Singha. That was the farm area that we lived in. And um, so we were like just right off of a highway, you know, stop on the road, and um, just this, our own little village really uh, with 130 people. Um, we had this giant area that had two rings. That we um, some every week we every Friday we'd break down the second ring so we could uh, set up the the um, floor pads, 
the barricades, all those things, so we could have our weekly shows on Saturday, um, where you know people from the villages nearby, there's a uh, Zara and uh, the Janu Singa, people who just could walk up and um, you know no entry fee, no nothing. Um, every Saturday we had those academy shows, and the students got to uh, you know show their show their goods, uh, as well as myself, and um, you know everyone from the academy was encouraged to uh, come cheer and really just, you know, get into the show that we put on every week. And uh, that's kind of what, what became the thing. We, we worked Monday through Friday. Um, then we had our event on Saturday and then Sunday was kind of the, the rest day for everyone to go do whatever, wash your clothes, see, see things, in town or you know if we wanted to do something crazy like uh go uh, i had a couple of opportunities to go sightseeing that would be the day to do it that's awesome so what was you know again you're kind of teaching more high flying uh uh side of things like how <coughs> how was the training regimen over there you know there's obviously a huge amount of people to be involved in this yeah um yeah. It, it sounds a little bit like um the dojo system in Japan, and I know we've heard like our, the, our friends again, Bianos and Super Anti talk about on the shows before. Yeah, um, I can only imagine. I, 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 you know, in comparison, I'd really love to see how the dojo mm -hmm. system operates because 130 people on site, it got to be really like overbearing on myself because <laughs> Kali's like, "Hey, you have to be you have to show them discipline. They make sure they're cleaning this, make sure they're doing this, make sure they're." breaking down the ring on the t on time. Was there a bit of a la language barrier then? Um, or? Yeah, yeah. There's about 30% of them that could speak uh, straight up English, but um, there was always somebody to translate. And then Kali was like, he is a good like 75, 80% um, English yeah. speaking. Yeah. But he would make jokes too. He's like, I can't even speak full Hindi. So <laughs> he's, <laughs> you know, because, uh, you know, he's a, a Punjab guy. He could speak a little bit of Punjabi too. Yeah. But, um, you know, he's just got his own, like the way about talking, but like, it was weird because like, I, you know, I never went to college, but this, um, after telling some people, especially Danny, uh, she's like, that was your college experience because you know, you're basically, I, I, I had my own room as were a lot of guys, like the living conditions were insane for some of these kids. Uh, a couple of the, there's a couple of rooms for the highest level seniors that were like three beds that, you know, four, four kids would share, uh, you know, uh, one of the rooms, but then there was a couple of big halls that were just like lines of, of beds where just, we just filled them in as much as we could. And I'm like, man, this is, this is insane, really insane. And the beds flipped up. They were like these container boxes where you could put whatever you needed inside to store because, you know, there's not space. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, there, there. It was much as I wouldn't say a babysitter, but an RA, as much as I was a coach, because there is always madness going on, and you know sometimes the the kids were, uh, you know, a little bit, you know, overzealous, and it'd be like midnight or like seven in the morning, something like that, and uh, you know they're still they're starting to do stuff in the ring, and I'm like I'm really I'm Peter Pan. This is never Neverland. Some of these kids are just like going hard and everyone has their own schedule because, you know, kids wake up different times and, uh, you know, but <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm rocking it the whole time because like we had uh, our first, we, we had four classes. Our first class ran from 10 to 1230. And then once the weather started getting cold and everything, uh, it, it really wasn't okay to work out at 10 so we we bumped that from 11 to 1 30 so then 1 30 to 2 30 i'd have my lunch 2 30 to 4 30 we'd have second class 4 30 to 7 15 ish was third and fourth class together dual rings you mm -hmm. know but second and third uh, first and second class also was operating with both rings and uh for the long for a while it was me just by myself with no like assistant coach uh, running things. I'm like, guys, I can't, there's so many people. How can mm -hmm. I do this? 
And Kylie's like, well, everybody else did. I'm like, but dude, everybody else didn't have this many kids. <laughs> Cause like it really like it started, it, it, it advanced so very quickly. Yeah. But, um, so then we had seniors, um, help helping running things. And then I had like each class, I had a designated, uh, English guy. I was like, Englishman, Englishman. So I had a translator for each one, but man, like we ran all day. And then once I got out of the ring, there's some, uh, a group of kids would come in. They would start doing extra class because the, the rings were always open for you to do whatever you wanted, mm-hmm. um, you know, within reason. And, uh, then like some of the, the senior kids, they would have their extra class and, uh, uh, they would just, you know, get in as much as they could. And it was admirable because these kids would be <laughs> just <laughs> bumping forever, uh, because they would, they would be doing stuff with me, uh, in the morning. They'd work out, they'd rest, and then they'd come back later at night. And, you know, it was a, it's, it's, it's a life, you know? Yeah. So I, I, I just came across it and, and this reminded me because it looks like you're FaceTiming with uh, Jinder Mahal here. And uh, <laughs> that was when they were <laughs> in Delhi. Those wondering when they were in Delhi. Yeah. Did, did, did I see, I thought I saw, did you, were you in Delhi like uh, uh, when WWE was? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I went, um, that and just to see that was a thing too just to see uh that wwe event because you know um i i i had seen some house shows here and mm-hmm. and, and uh, live events and tv tapings pay-per-views i'd seen a lot of you know everything i wanted to see i wanted to absorb how the people react to everything um that they see there and I wanted to see how all the guys, the wrestlers, what they did. And I wanted to like, you know, mentally see how they put on their matches Mm -hmm. because everything is, you you can learn from all these things. And like, I recorded so much on my phone, but I had to take a seven hour bus to get there, uh, sleep in the hotel, take another seven hour bus back. And that was on a weekend. Um, so I had to miss one of our events or one of our live events, but, uh, you know, Kali was cool with it. Kali was very flexible with a lot of things, you know, w- within reason. Um, uh, but I got to see that, um, uh, talked a little bit to our boy, Logan, uh, the drifter, Sam, uh, not Sam, uh, no, Elias, Elias, Samson. Oh, Elias these days, people may know him as. Yeah. But, um, you know, um, we were trying to get together, but, uh, you know, Things are crazy. They they had their time was real quick in and out where they're trying to do something and bouncing out. The, the, the event there in Delhi was very early, and that was so they could catch their flight as early as possible because, you know, in, in learning myself, my flights, the, the flights back to the States, the la, the not the last, but the, the one that really leaves is at 3 a.m. Mm-hmm. 3 a.m. Uh, you go to either France or you go to Amsterdam and then you're routed accordingly from there. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, I didn't get to see him or any of uh, my boys that made it over to the And I New think Delhi that might show. have been when I, I think I heard like AJ Styles and guys like that were like, yeah, I've been on a plane most of the last like 48 hours or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Because like, they, they were really dropping them right in for these shows and right out. Because they went to Abu Dhabi yeah. the, the day before, I think it was. But like, uh, man, like, I don't, I don't want to be like a smart ass, but like, I, I had no mercy for them because a lot of them had a lot easier travel than I did. Mm-hmm. I had, um, between that and I had to do, um, there was a back to back. Uh, so I went from Pit, like, cause Pittsburgh's not a direct international airport, right, you right. know? Uh, I went from Pittsburgh to, uh, Chicago, well, depending on which time Pittsburgh to Chicago, Pittsburgh to JFK, then from, uh, JFK to, um, uh, that's three hours to, uh, what was it? Uh, whatever France, um, or Amsterdam, which is eight. And then another eight to Delhi. And then the seven hour bus ride, which is another level of terror. <laughs> On those buses, so uh, is this is this like I, I you know you picture like the Indiana Jones or something where they're getting on the bus with the chickens on it and everything? 
Okay, so the, <laughs> <clears throat> is that too close? Was a proper preparation? No. Yeah. Yeah. No, because if you do if you if you do it the right way, you shouldn't have that problem. However, on the way back, and you know this is this is because of my sweet sweet kitty boy Billa, uh, which <laughs> um, <clears throat> you can there, there's there's these buses that are like official buses, Volvo buses, AC buses. They have so many terms for them. Uh, where they're you know proper seats, everything. It's like something you would have in a mega bus or a Greyhound, something right, like that. Right. But there are also these public buses, which are open windows and just people get, I, I had to sit three to a seat with a cat and a basket in my lap. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, I, I was telling my students, I'm like, why, why do we, why do we pick this bus? We can pay, we can afford to do the other bus. Why are we doing this? I'm dying right now. My knee's killing me. The cat's screaming. What are we doing with it? What are like four hours? And then we switched buses. I'm like, oh, finally. But it was so insane. Like there's, there's, just, you know, there's just different systems. There's different ways. Um, they, and they have trains, lots of, lots of travel through trains in India. Um, I wanted to, you know, I never rode a train outside of a subway in, in the States. Uh, but I wanted to, I wanted to ride a train. I almost did, but, uh, I was denied taken because I had Billa with me on the way, uh, to Delhi. So, so yeah. Awesome. Uh, and it was always fun. It was fun to uh, kind of see, you know, we're always been uh, flipping through your Instagram here as we've been chatting. Uh, even uh, New Year's Eve, uh, seeing you guys celebrate New Year's at like, I think it was four in the afternoon here, maybe yeah. two in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah. And you're just like, you're, you're walking around and everybody's going crazy. And then they're just like, well, there's, there's great Kali by the, by the mm-hmm. fire. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That was so, uh, Kali didn't sell many, uh, holidays. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Diwali was one of them, which is a very big um, holiday for the um, Hindu uh, religion, I guess, Mm -hmm. Um, or just Indian people. But Diwali is awesome. They have a lot of – they call them crackers, but it's fireworks. And there's no regulation on fireworks, guys. (laughs) Let me tell you, I've seen some of the craziest (laughs) explosives I had ever seen. I got some video footage too because – Everybody's like, we got crackers. We got crackers. I'm like, cool. We're going to blow some stuff up, right? Yeah. Uh, no. We're talking like half sticks, almost full sticks of dynamite. Jeez. Like Ooh. Ooh. blowing stuff up. When I'm talking about like, you know, just having fun. No. We're talking about dangerous explosives. These kids. Kids. With like. <laughs> I'm like, how much gunpowder because like they they they, what do they 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 do the the powder count or something Mm -hmm. i'm like how much gunpowder was in there and then there's other ones that um what we would call the mortars that shoot up they're like mortars but they're not like their trajectory is not correct and they will go anywhere and it's very scary we were blowing up old protein containers we're blowing up all kinds (laughs) of stuff and i mean blowing up like like it looked like a like an inverted mushroom cloud. I'm like, this is insane. But that was, I didn't get to fully experience the volley because that was the day. Um, I did have a small break, uh, two times from, uh, there. That's one of the days I come back. Uh, I came back to de- defend a PWE title in Harrisburg. Um, the volley day and, um, and come back like three or four days later. And that was another thing too. Like I said, Kali was very flexible with me. I went to, I, went, I came back to the states to defend the PWE title, and then I got to go to Japan for uh, about five days. But the one thing he said, "Well, they're gonna pay for you to go back," and I'm like, "Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm their champion, and this is a big deal." He's like, "Are you sure you want to do all that travel again?" I'm like, "No, man, I don't want to do that <laughs> travel at all. I do not want to do." Is this 24 hours yeah, in, yeah. in the air? And then, uh, so on the way here, it's shorter. But on the way there, it's 31 hours elapsed yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. It ends up being like 28 uh, on the way here because you're kind of cheating time. You're going faster than the, the earth is spinning. Yeah. But he's like, are you sure you want to do that? I'm like, I don't want to do that, but this is what I have to do. So I'm going to do it. Um, but then, yeah, uh, going down to, to – 
for uh, the Japan trip too. Same kind of thing where uh, it wasn't as long, obviously, but uh, it's it's nice that he was really cool with um, you know allowing me to go, uh, you know, take other bookings as where other coaches, other uh, other guys never had. I don't know if they had, didn't have the opportunity, but they just never were able to take advantage of that like that. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. The world traveled facade <laughs> with us. Um, is there uh you know, usually I ask at this point if there's anything you're watching these days or anything like that. Uh, is there uh, maybe uh, two or three guys that you saw over there that, that maybe we should keep an eye out? I don't know if uh, maybe we'll make it over here. Maybe we should look them up on YouTube. Yeah, there's a, there's a, quite a few guys that, there's so many kids over there that can hang. They, mm-hmm. You know, um, I wanted to wrestle as many of them as I quite possibly could have. You know, I only had, you know, what, statistically 25 matches if we're really being, you know, mathematically sound. But I think it's probably about 21, 22, because one of the times I, I banged up my neck, one of the times I was sick, and then being gone for PWE, being gone uh, in Japan. It's probably about 20, 20 matches altogether. But unfortunately, I wrestled a couple guys like three times. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, not that they were bad matches, but I just wanted to, I wanted to like work with everybody. I wanted to work with everyone and wrestle everyone. I mean, so uh, a couple of guys, because um, last year they had the Dubai tryouts and uh, I got to wrestle a couple of those guys and they're fantastic wrestlers and, you know, very charismatic they can go in the ring and you know obviously their 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 english is not you know a hundred percent on point but Mm -hmm. they understand how to convey a message in an english speaking promo enough to the point where they could get a job here yeah you know whether it be with wwe or another company so that's that's one of the things i really try to instill in them too you know try to think about what you want your future to be because WWE only has so many spots and there's only, and they're looking all over the world literally right now. Yeah. And even though WWE has these spots available, think about who they have right now. They have the sings, they have gender. Mm -hmm. Um, I actually had a hand in, uh, training Kavita Devi, hard Katie, who was in the May young classic. So I'm very happy to be able to say something like that, but, they a lot of them were kind of, you know, taken back by that to like, uh, well, uh, hard Katie Kavita, she's she's you know picked them now they're not interested in Indian people. No, that's the wrong mentality. They're 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 looking. They're keep you know furthering each each time. Uh, October we had Smiley and Canyon come out to just you know get a nice cross. And then that's Norman Smiley, by the way, for people. Norman Smiley, Black Magic Baby. <laughs> Magic baby. <laughs> so that was and, and 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 side note with that, that was an amazing opportunity for me to just get in the ring and uh uh because we we did um a little uh tryout where they had their uh tryout matches and then um me and Norman Smiley got in the ring and you know demonstrated some things that I had been showing them. Mm-hmm. But even beyond that, um, there was things that I, he was showing me and, you know, them to to further because a lot of the things I would show them, it just wouldn't stick, you know, whether yeah. it be a uh, whether it be a language barrier, what have you. Um, sometimes it just, you know, wouldn't stick with them. But he would tell them things and a lot of it was the same things I was telling him. And that, that just it, it validated me like on a personal level because I'm like, man doing it right i feel like i'm actually doing it right i'm te- i'm telling these kids you know what you know what i feel like because you know obviously wrestling is you know su- subjective I'm, I'm telling these kids what i feel what i think is correct in psychology terms or you know what we should be looking for you know a reality-based kind of atmosphere that the wwe is looking for nowadays and it reinforced it to the point where i was just so excited and it, it really really pushed me forward and then it gave he working with him gave me some some ammunition to 
to keep going to, to, to show them. And aside from the fact they documented everything over there, they're always doing Facebook Live. They're always doing you mm-hmm. know YouTube videos. It looks like a lot of the guys have Instagrams. Like I, I'm seeing, like, and all of them have like their name underscore CWE and stuff like that. Yeah. So like, there's a big social media presence in there, and they're very aware of it. Yeah, and Kali, he's <laughs> that's a good monetary stream for him too. So yeah, he um, once he discovered that he 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 made sure that he uh, he kept. He kept up with that. He just recently got his little silver button, his little silver YouTube button there. Oh. Yeah. So what is that? What, like 200,000? Uh, I, I think it's 200,000. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, you know, that's hanging up in his office. And so, um, yeah, uh, that was a, a thing too. We, we we got to do that. And that was a great, like I said, learning experience all around. But um, some back to the question you said, is some of the people to watch out for, um, you know, Sahil Sangwan, is one of the guys that did the uh, Dubai tryout, and he's a really solid wrestler. He does more of like a, yeah, he, you know, he's a bad guy, but he does, I would like to say, uh, a lot of a Japanese kind of a strong style kind of guy uh, where he's not really a baby face or good guy. He's not really a good guy, bad guy. He's just like, he is what he is. Um, and that's, uh, you know, you'll see a lot of that because the, the wrestling is very real in India alive and well and that's a great thing it's a blessing and a curse but it's a really great thing to see mm-hmm. you know they don't uh there's not matches there they're fights and that's really cool really really cool um Sahil someone um another guy that uh he was a little before the uh Dubai tryouts was uh Vipin Mr. Understand who's a very very talented guy too uh, hyper athletic and uh, one of the best bodies in all of CWE. One of the, you know, super, they, they, a lot of them call him Builder because he is a bodybuilder, uh, competition bodybuilder. But on top of that, being super athletic, he's got a really uh, good look, um, you know, a clean cut face, something, you know, that a lot of people would look to see on TV. And he could speak English very well. And he's a guy that could, you know, really have some uh, a future within the uh, company. Um, some other guys I got to work with uh, were um, within the uh, Dubai tryout. Um, Ponkage was a guy. He's a like a like a straight up power wrestler, and uh, he's he's good as well. Uh, got to wrestle a 16 uh, year old by the name of Prince, who's still you know a little rough around the edges, mm-hmm. but um, but he's 16, 16, <laughs> and he's been wrestling a year, mm-hmm. and he's been training a year before that. Jeez. So you know he's you know he's still developed both body and mind. He, so. just, he just just kind of said to be one of those twenty one year old prodigies, right? Yeah, yeah. And then um, I'm trying to think if there's any other Shanky Singh, uh, who's another guy. Um, there's a couple of giants over there too. Mm-hmm. You know, I was uh, one of the, the main focal point that he wanted me to, to be involved with. Obviously, was that um, the the high flying stuff, but. Um, you know, thankfully in my career, I've been able to work with like a lot of wrestle, a lot of guys that are different sizes. So I have a bit of, uh, the able to teach some things that are just beyond high flying. And with the help of Kali, who's seen a lot of things too, uh, especially on the <coughs> giant aspect of things. Uh, we have a couple of giants and bigger guys, which he, um, w- we work together to try to teach these guys. One of which being Shanky Singh, who was in the Dubai tryouts and somehow mounted a very, very big internet following. Like we're talking millions. Wow. Millions of uh, people mm. watch his videos. Anytime uh, CWE uh, posts any video involving Shanky Singh, it gets incredible numbers. And uh, he's a very charismatic guy, can speak good English, um, very athletic. Um, I was able to have a, a CWE title match with him and uh, went very well. Um, Another guy, the other giant, seven foot two, seven foot two, Suki. The one, the one from the earlier picture. Yeah, yeah, seven foot two. He is the biggest guy in the CWE Academy. He's, He's bigger than Kali. Wow. He, and so with those two guys, I felt like you know maybe maybe not, but you know I felt like those guys might have been looked at as like the next Kali. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, you know, they both are very different. 
as, as even though they're so much the same in size, you know, being giants, what have you, they're still very different, both in personality and ring work. Because uh, you know, Suki, <laughs> Suki being seven two, I, in training, I had, uh, I thankfully have a video of that. I, I can have that guy do a springboard. He didn't need to do it, but he really w- he wanted to do it. <laughs> He's like, I can do it, coach. Watch, watch. Wow. And obviously, he didn't say it like that, but yeah, yeah. Um, Suki's English was a little bit more rough around mm-hmm. the edges, but uh, he could talk. And you know, I was thankful enough that I had a match with him that was, you know, one of my favorite matches in my career because it's not very often I get to work with, uh, I get to wrestle really big guys, and this was one of those opportunities uh, to do that, and. I thought we had an incredible match, and you know, there's just great storytelling stuff that. Uh, oh, Red Bull down. Red Bull down. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, but it was one of those times where um, there's just great storytelling elements in the match, and it just was natural. Where as people were trying to, oh, it's a good guy, it's a bad guy, and they're doing the thing, you know. Um, but you know. It was, <laughs> Me versus a seven foot two guy, some fight for your life. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But um, a lot of cool stuff, a lot of things that you know just really made sense. And uh, I was really happy with that match. And uh, those are those are the the long and the short of it. Those are the guys to to look for. You got Suki. You got um, uh, Mister Understand, Shanky, uh, Arya Z. He's another guy. He's one of the guys that's assistant coach. He's really um. One of the technical guys, too, with a very great character. And then uh, the current CWE champion, um, who does, who <laughs> he's from Pakistan. You know, uh, and for those of you that don't know, uh, Pakistan has some major problems with India being oh. uh, a terrorist uh, type of thing. Uh, quite a few years ago, there was a terrorist bombing from Pakistan. So that's kind of a, a sensitive subject. So they're going with that kind of thing, you know. Like he's kind of the yeah, they were kind of the uh, like like how we would do Russians, right, or or, or something like that, or uh, the Iraqi thing back. Yeah, yeah, or how we do we eat Middle Eastern here. exactly. Yeah, yeah. But it's really sensitive. It's really mm-hmm. sensitive over there. That's awesome. Uh, we do have a couple questions from the chat, and I don't know what this pertains to necessarily, but uh, Justin out there uh, says, "Tell us about the Cobra experience." Is, oh. is this from over there? Man, there's so many like little awesome things. Like I said, I'm going to try to make a web series of all this stuff because I just randomly film stuff on a regular basis. And uh, I was just so busy. I couldn't ever really put things together. But one day we're out, we're, we're having class, and then some kids are like, oh, there's a cobra outside. I'm like, what? <laughs> there's, a, there's a cobra outside. They're like, yeah, coach, there's snakes all the time. I'm like, well, I want to, let's, hold on, let's go see this cobra. We run outside, sure enough, there was two cobras, they scared one of them away, apparently they were doing some kind of mating twisting gimmick, and, uh, and, and, like, this, it's just up, like, I'm like, dude, it's a cobra, and it's, like, long, I can, like, it's almost close enough I can kick that boy, and then he starts chilling out, he starts, like, he starts relaxing. And guy pokes him with the stick, and he's back like, like, I'm like, why are you doing that? Why are you poking him? He's, why, he's, he's going to strike us. What if he's a spitter, like in the Noah's Ark? He's going to spit his venom the Noah's his Ark. <laughs> right? You that's that? a very Pittsburgh reference that's if right. you're not from here. Yeah. By the way. That's, that's for you guys. <laughs> but, dude, like, it was crazy because he, 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 he did. He, 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 back, he got back up, and I'm like, yo, this, this guy's ready to strike. He's going to strike. Don't mess with him. <laughs> Yeah, so there's the cobra. Uh, the cobra was a, a really, really sweet thing. Um, also, we're just training one day. Friggin' elephants walking down the highway. <laughs> I'm like, what's with the elephant? Hold on, stop everything. Uh, apparently, sometimes so, the elephants are used in marriages, so that people will ride oh, them or everything. Okay, made, okay. Made sure. Uh, so there was a lot of like, hold on, out of towner wants to see what's going on yeah. here. Meanwhile, this is just a regular occurrence for everybody else. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, they they probably thought you were crazy. You're just stopping everything. Just no, they they stuff. were like, oh yeah, yeah, come on, because they were on board. They were totally on board. Yeah, yeah. Like, coach, come on, let's go. And I'm, and like sometimes I'm just like, take my phone, record that. I I can't leave, but I want to see this closer. Uh, but I got I got 
I seen an elephant twice. The first time, um, it, he was just like, he just doom, 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 down the highway. And I'm like, he's already gone because he's an elephant. He's got like, uh, you know, the stride of like a car. So yeah, yeah. I'm not going to catch. But one time I went into Jalander City. Um, when we were just checking out stuff. And I see, I'm like, yo, I got to, I got to, I got to talk to this elephant. I got to wrap it. <laughs> and so we stopped and um, we're in a car. We pulled over. I'm like, hey, can I record? And then we just started recording the elephant. I'm like, and I'm hugging him in the trunk. And he's really like into it. And we're being friends. And then somebody, and then the guy, uh, one of my students, he's like, here, give him the money. Uh, so uh, he's giving him 50 rupees. So like, no, 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 no. Um, so they have him trained where he grabs it from the trunk. Uh, because it's work and he's getting money. That's the thing. Uh, he's like, he grabs the money and then he's like, and he puts it in his little basket thing. <laughs> and he's like, no, 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 this one's not trained for that. Just give me the money. I'm like, okay, whatever. Uh, I give him the 50 rupees. He's like, no more. My boy Ali's like, no, coach, don't do it. I'm like, here, I gave him 50 more. He's like, no, it's 500. I'm like, oh, man, why? And then he's like, don't do it, coach. Let's leave. And I'm like, I, I, and he's like, okay, okay, whatever. Well, because they see me, they're like, oh, white guy, uh, chick nay, which is like, I don't know if it's racist, but it's like derogatory term for white guy. It's like they're gringo or yeah. something, right? Gor Gora is the actual term. Gora okay. is white guy. Uh, and go, um, Gorier, um, is girl. Gora is guy. Gorier is girl. Uh, Chick Nay is like, you know, I don't know what kind of, I don't know exactly the term it's derogatory, but you know, call me Chick Nay. I don't, I don't care. You know? So the thing is, I was like, I, I just hugged an elephant guys. I don't care how much I just paid. I got it on film. I hugged an elephant. The elephant was into it. He hugged me back. How, with his how much trunk. is his 500 rupees? Five dollars. It's five dollars. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, like. All I, right. I was getting my haircut over there. It was three fifty. I was giving him four hundred, yeah. and that's six. I, I, I was just telling my my barber before I come. I'm like, dude, I was paying four hundred or four hundred rupees, and that was six dollars and sixteen cents, and I'm paying you almost ten times the amount. <laughs> like, <laughs> wow. And so so over there, I was going like twice a month. Man. So yeah. So you're balling over there. Yeah. 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 Cause like money is money was nice over there, and not only that, things were priced down. Yeah. So like because money was so valuable, mm -hmm. and like uh, people would get paid, it, and it makes you it, it really humbles you too because people work so hard for like and was, most of the stuff's day rates. Yeah. People work so hard for like five hundred, six hundred rupees a day. Jeez. And it really does like that. That that brings me you know back around to what I was saying like, you know. We we have so many of these luxuries. Like what we have, even just looking around, it's just it's amazing the the luxuries we have. Just not even like cars. Like every single thing is amazing to me all over again. Um, uh, like I wasn't watching TV. I wasn't doing like like everything. I'm, I'm just. Like it sounds like you did like a, you had like a spiritual uh, uh, awakening over there. I, honest to God, did because like uh, like it 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 was humbling as much as it was like I don't want to say I felt bad. I did feel bad, but like they would they wouldn't be happy if I felt bad. Mm -hmm. They just because it, it, it's a reality. Yeah, and it's not like they're they're not suffering. Like. I was over there six months, but there's kids over there that have been there for 10, 10 months at a time, just like grinding it out. And, you know, like I, you know, I'll, I'll cry about the living conditions, not being like, you know, uh, the most magnificent or whatever, you know, Oh, I didn't have hot water and you know, all this, this, this stuff that I'm, I'll cry about, but you know what, the, the, what dude, I was taking a, a, a bath, with warm water and all these things, these kids were outside taking baths with cold water. And like when I say baths, we're not talking like, you know, baths. I'm talking about you're filling a bucket up and you're just boom, 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 just dumping on your head. And like sometimes it was late at night, 
You know, sometimes there's mosquitoes biting you on the bum. It's just a lot. It, and like it, it just makes you and, and, and the mosquitoes is another thing too. Like my room was a little bit more sealed off than others. Some of the kids' rooms had like windows open. They didn't they didn't have screens. And you look up and you see the, the lights and there's just like so many damn mosquitoes. It's like, oh my God. And malaria, yellow fever, those are reality things. Mm -hmm. These are things that, you know, are potential something that can get you sick. And kids are dealing with being sick on a regular basis. Sometimes they 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 have fevers. Sometimes they have loose motions, as we called called it diarrhea. Um, sometimes, like for for a time, I don't think the I think we needed to change the water filters and they didn't get changed. So we all suffered. All of us in the academy suffered from loose motions. But you know that's just all of these things. Uh, compounding each other and it, sometimes kids would be banged up but they would still come to class like we're doing the classes five days a week people aren't meant to be taking bumps and doing some of the things that we do in a ring five days a week on top of working out in the gym you know it's just not supposed to be that way for your body to naturally recover and then work out or not and then have a show on saturday an event on saturday um you know, I, I, I living here, I try to be a tough guy. I'm like, yeah, I work out five days a week, and then I wrestle two times on the weekend, three times a weekend, whatever. But they're doing like they're wrestling in a ring, training three hours every day, and it's it's you know, they're showing how tough they are, mm -hmm. you know. And then sometimes Kali would show show up and just oversee some of my training, and sometimes you know. He, I, I, granted, I'm I'm being a little withheld for the kids because uh, I know this is a long week, you know. But he want he calls it Indian like Indian style is like strong style to another level mm -hmm. because sometimes it's not so safe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and but it's he wants it to be real because everybody still thinks it's real to him in that area. It is so we. We, we, we played the part, you mm -hmm. know, even in training, you know, sometimes people would take a big boot from in the corner to the face and they were just like, yeah, it'd be fine. It'd be fine. He's right there. I'm fine. Are you okay? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, Kali, sir. Yes, Kali, sir. I don't see them the next day. What's wrong? Why aren't you here? Oh, my back pain, uh, this pain, this pain. I'm like, yeah, that's what I thought mm -hmm. because he just took the most wretched bump in an unsafe part of the ring with a boot to the face. But to Kali, you know, no one ever showed weakness. Mm -hmm. And that's like one of those things, you know, you Maybe know it's a cultural thing. Pride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pride went really far. Absolutely. Everybody's always trying to work out, eat more, trying to be as big as possible. Mm -hmm. And, you know, cause that's, that's what they see, mm -hmm. you know, the uh, be bigger, be stronger. That's the whole mentality is, Brute, awesome. brute force, brute strength. Well, we've been going an hour, <laughs> and I'm sure you can go more. Dude. You got your video series, uh, hopefully here in the future here. Uh, but it's a, it's amazing. Uh, it's awesome to hear your experiences over there, and uh, it just the, the travels and uh, wrestling's taken you. Yeah, it, uh, and I'm I'm ever so thankful because, like I said, uh, personally, professionally, um, I've grown as a person. And like, you know, even going through the holidays and everything, um, real quick, the holidays were a really, really hard time for me. Um, because like, I, like I, I talked about sacrifice, but I'd given up like my home, my car, my family, all these things. And then, you know, that the holidays were at the tail end of everything. And like my mom was in the hospital, my sister was having my first nephew, yeah. and my Christmas, uh, my mom's birthday is on Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, my birthday, New Year's, all these things uh, really started wearing on me. And if it wasn't for my students, um, and you know, like I said, uh, reading the secret stuff like that, um, opening me up to like a new new level of, of I guess, spirituality for lack of a better term. Uh, it really, I really wouldn't have been able to make it because 
I, I started dwelling on a lot of negative stuff and I really was in a dark place and it really wasn't good for me. And I just wanted to go home and, uh, I had shut myself out from a lot of people. Um, people would message me and like positive things. I just wouldn't answer them because I was afraid to talk negatively because I would just breed more negative. And like, I was just really bummed out, but there was a couple people along with my students like DJ Z and like Gory and, you know, people that are close to me, I would, I would stay in touch with. Um, and it, that, and my cat, the cat that I brought back from India, Billa, which I'm sure we'll talk about some other time. <laughs> um, like that all really, really, uh, it really made me able to make it through that. And, uh, I'm just really thankful and really happy that all of that turned out for such a positive thing. And, you know, now we're, we're here today, able to talk about it with a smile on our face. It's awesome. It's another chapter in the book, man. <laughs> One facade on the Instagram, on the Twitters. The Instagram's got a lot of great pictures and videos. And uh, there's still more to come. I, I really, like I said, guys, I didn't really get to put as much as I wanted to, but I'll definitely keep keep posting that. I'll try to put some of that uh, that crazy content that didn't make it on the social media. And, and I just realized, you know, going through things like on the CWE uh, YouTube page you mentioned, there are a lot of your matches too that every, you had over there. Every single match I've had is chronologically uh, included. It, the only now the only one thing. The one gripe I have is the last match I had was against that Pakistani kid for the CWE title. For some reason, there's a lot of heavy editing. Uh, <laughs> we had like a, a 30 minute match, 20, 25 minute match. Fantastic match, in my opinion, a lot of people's opinion. But there's a lot of moves from me that, you know, just didn't make the cut. I never really seen a <laughs> match edited in such a way, uh -huh. especially when the match wasn't really flawed. But you know, to, on on my on my way out, there's there was a little bit of craziness that just, I guess the Neon Ninja was looking too strong. <laughs> I don't understand that at all. But thankfully, I have the original footage, and there you go. sooner or later we'll see that on the One Facade on the you YouTube go. page. Thank you, Riz, for joining us. Riz, you are welcome. Yes, I'm so glad that you got to enjoy the uh, the ramblings of my. My uh, great Kali experience. I hope that you get to meet Kali one day on his trip back to the U.S. Oh. We almost went to Altoona, but then he canceled his. Uh, what was it? Was it uh, that was for a big time. Yes, it was. Big it was. Time, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was there. Yeah. And, yeah. So uh, he <sighs> will be reappearing for some big time events in the not too distant oh, future. Nice. I'll keep Ooh. you posted on that on a personal level. There sure, we have to go. We have to go on a road trip for that. We definitely do. We definitely do because I'll be at that Altoona show in the next one, and I know for a, I don't know if Kali's going to be on that, but I know for a fact Kali will be here in March and April in the states. Uh, they got they have a giant show uh, April twenty fourth in Rajasthan. Uh, estimated forty thousand people going to be there. Man, <laughs> wow! <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I got to be there for that, bro. Yeah. But, uh, but no, um, yeah, I'll definitely let you know next That's time awesome. you can catch oh, yeah. Go check them out. Ask for some more India stories. I mean, it's going to be a book at this point. So, and of course, popped up recently in IWC again. Hey. A great four way, including Gory and CJ Sensation <laughs> and Raya. Yeah, that was a nice that surprise. Was interesting. That was yeah. a nice surprise. I was happy to be uh, a part of that because, you know, um, the reset button reloaded is always a fun thing. Being a surprise mm -hmm. and getting able to see uh, the crowd's reaction to mm -hmm. anybody being a surprise. It's like the Royal Rumble, but just it in, is. A, in it a different is. way. I actually uh, I held back a little bit um, before I made my entrance just so I could see everybody's uh, response because, you know, that's those are the things that kind of stick with you. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? I got to watch the uh, Sandman's entrance that night too, and I, I got to see, you know, seeing Sandman a couple times through the years. He, he recognized me. He was talking all kinds of crazy stuff to me. Because one time we, we were on a road trip to Cleveland and he had like a 20 questions thing. Um, and I reminded him about that and he was just going on and on about that. But seeing like him ignite whenever the people responded to the, mm -hmm. the reset button was a cool thing. And then I was watching some of the guys, uh, somebody's Snapchat story over the weekend and seeing like him like – going up to the corner you could see like you know 
it, that's one of those good feelings. Like you could see he's like, man, people like care so much. And he just, he just felt it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that was like such a cool thing. But I was happy to be uh, back in my original home of IWC, at least for my first match back in the United States. That's awesome. And of course, good luck in the UK and all the, I'm sure many, many more travels. Check out everything. And of course, uh, Facade is all over IndieWrestling.us. Support Indie Wrestling and check out his matches there as well. Uh, on DVD, digital download, video on demand. The most recent ones out there, of course. And uh, support uh, indie wrestling. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.